you used it on the walkout, which is fun, but you got to be ready for that. But it's not just... Oh! After that spinning elbow knockout, everybody is talking about the UFC women's flyweight rising star, Meatball Molly McCann. This Liverpool native is already number 15 in the flyweight rankings, and with her recent win streak, it has us thinking she'll continue climbing to the top of the division. Today we're taking a look at the life and career of Molly McCann. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and check back every week for more Ultimate MMA. McCann had a rough start in life as she was born in Liverpool to two parents who suffered from substance abuse. She was partially raised by her aunt and managed to train in kickboxing, karate, and Muay Thai before pivoting to Western boxing by the age of 12. McCann would start training in MMA in 2013. She spent most of her early MMA career fighting in Liverpool while working at Subway, giving her the nickname Meatball Molly. McCann became a flyweight champion in both Shock and Awe and Cage Warriors promotions, earning a 7-1 record and scoring a deal with the UFC. McCann had a rocky UFC start. She was set to face Jillian Robertson at UFC Fight Night but came in overweight, losing out on pay and losing the fight via submission in round two. Don't stand! Don't stand, watch your neck. Control the kicks in your hand. Look out, tight that squeeze from Roberts in there, sunk. tight squeeze. That looks sunk, Molly McCann's trying to scrabble McCann did not want to tap. She's out, in she's out, arena. she's out! And that is it! Thankfully, McCann would come back for a unanimous decision win over Priscilla Cachoeira at UFC Fight Night. She needs to clear that, oh, that arm, she needs to clear, clear the arm, she's she looking at that smoke. Yeah, yeah, there there it is. Is. Did she get the arm bar? <laughs> wow! But Priscilla doing a great job. She's defending it. She's all over it. No touch of gloves. Oh, big right hand. Big right hand. Coming over the top while she's going for uh, for a takedown. Oh. oh. And his back fist from McCann's is that his smile. Molly McCann has been over to Liverpool John Moore's University. Oh, guillotine attack. McCann came back for another UFC fight night and scored a unanimous decision victory over Ariane Lipsky and a new four-fight contract with the UFC. That left hook, as I said, she's going to put something on the end of it. Oh, there we go. Take down, take down. High amplitude. Oh. She acknowledges the crowd with 10 seconds to go in the round. Oh, that's awesome. Maybe I'm biased, but that was pretty cool. Heavy grounded pound here at the end of the rounds. Yeah, more of this. Round two straight ahead. As I said, Lipsky just keeps pumping out that job. Oh, the head oh. kick goes through, but a right hand from McCann sits down Lipsky. Lipsky took it well. Again, a late and round takedown, but is McCann wrapped up here? She's inside control, but under the arm of Lipsky. 90 seconds to go, and another stiff right from McCann. But Lipsky is doing the advancing here, largely in the third round. And now Molly's coming alive in the alley shuffle, trying to throw a little. Oh, man, and a spinning kick fist. And a high kick that time as she continues to skip around. Meatball Molly kept the wins coming when she faced Deanna Belbita at UFC on ESPN and came out with another unanimous decision victory. At least get to half guard something, but sitting here in Mount in this position is not favoring her. Oh, not in a great position to defend here. After some fighters dropped out due to COVID, McCann faced Talia Santos at UFC on ESPN and was handed a unanimous decision loss. Molly would lose again against Lara Procopio at UFC Fight Night, but after this, McCann really hit her stride. She would earn her first fight of the night bonus when she faced Ji Yun Kim at UFC Fight Night. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. It's good work by Molly. Oh! Molly told us at the fighter meeting that she was trying to do is get close and dirty box and for the UK fans in the building. Look at that head movement. Beautiful work by Molly. Oh. She's feeling it now. Oh. Body kick and a jab from McCann. Give you that extra 5%. Look, look at that. Love it. Oh. oh my goodness. Nice left hand connection and a right from McCann. Oh, oh. Molly, she's an animal. Oh! She goes the distance with Ji Young Kim. No peace flying into the crowd. The 
match went every round and was a constant back and forth, making this a hugely entertaining fight. Next up came the KO victory Meatball Molly is probably most famous for. At UFC Fight Night, McCann faced Luana Carolina and landed a beautiful spinning elbow that knocked Carolina's lights out. There's, you lose something there. That energy is energy that you didn't use for the fight. You, you used it on the walkout, which is fun, but you got to be ready for that. But it's not just... This would earn Molly her first Performance of the Night award, but the next one would come soon after, at another UFC fight night when she faced Hannah Goldie. McCann landed another spinning elbow and followed up with punches that scored her a TKO victory in the very first round. After two huge knockouts like these, it's clear Molly McCann is on the road to UFC stardom, but can she keep it up, or will her winning streak fly off the tracks? We'll have to find out when McCann faces Aaron Blanchfield at UFC 281. Does Molly McCann have what it takes to make it to the top? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and check back every week for more Ultimate MMA.